This is a good deal. Rudd's here. Today's soap review will feature Noble Otter Kaboom. This is a limited edition soap uh, made by Noble Otter for a uh, group of wet shavers on Reddit. I uh, believe this was released in September of 2018, this year. Um, this was uh, given to me in a sample form, as you can see, by a good friend of mine, jnewt underscore 2a on Instagram. Uh, he and his wife, who's at wifey, uh, so at SOTD wifey review. Um, are great people, a uh, power couple in the wet shaving community. They, they have quite a bit of a uh, gear and provide really nice reviews of products on their Instagram pages. So I urge you to, uh, subscribe to them and, uh, give them a follow over on Instagram. Noble Otter is a uh, wonderful artist in, our, in the wet shaving community. They're well known for collaborations with other artisans, uh, as well as uh, limited edition scents uh, through other wet shaving groups. And uh, they can be purchased direct from their website or at maggardrazors.com, westcoastshaving.com, and if you're in Canada, top of the chain. So Kaboom is a duplication of the uh, widely popular men's fragrance, Spice Balm by uh, Victor and Rolf. Uh, it's a very warm and spicy scent featuring notes of bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, lemmy, cinnamon, chili pepper, saffron, vetiver, leather, and tobacco. Having smelt the uh, fragrance itself, I can tell you this is a near exact replication of that scent and uh, will be quite enjoyed by anybody who's uh, into uh, shaving soaps with the uh, scent of men's fragrances. This is what I would consider a um, multi-use wear. You can wear it professionally, on a date, casually, kicking around. Uh, it's, it's quite an unoffensive scent, very masculine, very warm, very spicy. Uh, well done on the uh, scent by Noble Otter. Scent strength is mid both off of the sample I have and remains mid once lathered. And for similar scents available in wet shaving, I'd suggest you check out Sterling Soap Co. Kaboom or Ginger's Garden Spice Grenade. For those of you who have not seen any of my previous Noble Auto reviews, uh, this is a tallow-based soap. I will list the ingredients below as I always do. The soap is of uh, mid-firmness and uh, loads easily into your brush fiber of choice. It's a uh, thirsty soap. And as such, when you uh, hydrate it properly, it will have a nice density and sheen to it and should resemble the uh, consistency of creme fraiche. Slickness on this soap is excellent. And that would be both the primary slickness, which is the uh, slickness from the lather you can see. And it's also... Uh, excellent in terms of its residual slickness or secondary slickness which is what's left behind after you've wiped the uh, lather off with your blade. As good as the slickness is, the uh, post shave is the real star of this soap base in my opinion. It's quite excellent. Has great longevity. Well after the shave, you'll feel the uh, moisturizing effects of the uh, ingredients used to uh, make the soap base. And you can easily not use a post-shave product when uh, shaving with the soap if you don't want to.
given all this praise, the uh, shape score for the Noble Otter Tello Soap Base is a 92. And for a similar performance experience and shave score, I'd suggest you check out Olio Soapworks or the Sudsy Soapery Tallow Soap Base. All right, my uh, last shave of 2018 was wonderful with this uh, Noble Otter Kaboom. Both my uh, face and dome are soft, supple, uh, drama, drama free shave, if you will. So. Wonderful job on this limited edition scent. Uh, I quite enjoy when artisans duplicate fragrances from uh, popular men's and women's fragrances that are available to uh, men, even if they're not wet shavers. So good ups on Noble Otter's behalf for doing this and uh, check out the BSTs. Perhaps you can score yourself a set of this. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say, and if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.